yeah hi students this is dr badrinath and we are studying the subject of pharmacology in this video you will see the vitamin d right where this vitamin d will come in your syllabus this is your syllabus uh, here in the d it comes hormones regulating the plasma calcium level in our body are the three hormones i have already told parathormone calcitonin vitamin d these are the three important uh, and it is very important bit also actually for recall competitive exams okay and for uh, subjective objective type also very important now today we will see the vitamin d i think you know uh, calcium regulation in our body there is a three major players are there one is calcitonin that is a hormone parath hormone name itself indicate it is a hormone vitamin d it is a hormone and vitamin both don't think that it is only vitamin alone you can see vitamin d is also called as a anti rachitic substance it is a very important one anti rachitic substance and we know that uh, sun is the source of vitamin d so sun will give sun will not give directly vitamin d to your skin okay don't get confusion okay sun will give the uv rays that uv rays will converts the i will show you in that okay it is a found in the food and it is synthesized in the body vitamin d synthesized in the body okay it is found in the food also okay and uh, under the influence of uv rays from the sun it is synthesized in the body here you can see vitamin d should be considered as a hormone not i am not saying your pharmacology textbook tripathi is saying author your author is saying that it is you considered as a hormone in the exam they might ask in the gpat pg set drug inspector entrance examination they will ask you which vitamin is also called as a hormone vitamin d it is synthesized in the body why the reasons here see because because why we are calling as a hormone synthesized in the body in, that is in the skin under the ideal condition which are okay red lines important transported by the blood just like a hormones hormones is also secreted somewhere and uh, it transported by the blood to target cells this is also same passion vitamin d also transported by the blood and it acts on the target tissue okay that's why this is and also just like hormones this is also having a feedback regulation okay feedback auto regulation feedback regulation when there is a excess of vitamin d there is a signals will go to body to create the less amount of vitamin d if in our body vitamin d is less the body itself stimulates to secrete the more and more amount of vitamin d okay very important point very important bits for all competitive examination if you want to a government job definitely there will be one question from this three forms are there As you see my cursor d3 d2 d1 d3 is also called as a whole calciferol number of times it was appeared in the question paper whole calciferol d2 is called as a calciferol only calciferol this is a whole calciferol this is a calciferol and it is a d1 d1 is a mixture of anti rachitic substance i have told now it is a synonym anti rachitic substance found in the food that is also very important which are the vitamin which is vitamin d form found in the food d1 as well as a d2 also these two found in the food only historic interest d1 d2 how to remember calciferol two c's are there that's why i have underlined d2 how many c's are there one two so two three coal calciferol three c's are there like that you can remember very easily wonderful trick it is synthesized in the skin that is also very important which of the following vitamin d form synthesized in the skin d1 d2 d3 d4 d3 synthesized in the skin under the influence of uv rays uv rays comes from the sun 
sun is a natural source of uv rays morning you have to go for half an hour walk in the sunlight evening also you can be go for one bath you will get a 3 d3 and which of the following vitamin d forms are active you can see here active forms d3 okay also called as a calci triol tri another name of the d3 tri see here tri is there either tri is there or three c's must be there c c c then you can say it is a d3 it is a active form very important d2 1.11 comma 25 oh that is a hydroxyl groups at one position and 25th position d2 it is also active form how these are synthesized active form active forms come from the inactive forms you can see here this is the synthesis of d3 this line this line is synthesis of d2 how this first one ergosterol it is a basic point for the d3 starting point is ergosterol that is also important bit vitamin d2 comes from what ergosterol calcitriol comes from what dehydrocholesterol it is a basic parent like for d3 it is converted into cholecalciferol see here how many c c c c cholecalciferol vitamin d3 it is converted into calcifediol okay so here this is a place uv light liver microsomes kidney mitochondria these are also important where this step take place so ergosterol converted into calciferol see here c c only two c are there d2 d2 same here col calciferol calciferol d2 ergosterol cholesterol calcium absorption will be enhanced by the vitamin d3 very jan jigri dosts vitamin d as well as a calcium so carrier mediated transfer this is a suppose say this is the intestine this is the intestine uh, intestine inside the intestine this is the blood circulation from the intestine absorption see here symport you can observe this point symport uniport means one side only singly it go uni this is a symport just like a dual sim one is calcium and another one is a vitamin d collectively it symport to just like a export import this is the symport two clubbed together it enters into the systemic circulation from the intestine that is called a symport so with calcium plus vitamin d works like a symport very important bit so this absorption will be takes place in the duodenum d d keep in your mind vitamin d duodenum which part of the small intestine that is also important bit in the duodenum acts like a symport it will be antiport means opposite uniport symport antiport the directions you have to here symport is our focus point that's why this combination is very important jan jigri dostes calcium and vitamin d3 one popular uh, combination by the sipla company here you can see find the sipla sipla is very popular pharmaceutical company brand name is sipcal 250 it consists of calcium and vitamin d3 because both are enhanced from the duodenum absorption will be takes place as a symport and this is a role of calcitriol that is d3 triol triol d3 on the kidneys what it do calcitriol minimizes minimizes the excretion of calcium okay and phosphate phosphates and calcium by decreasing their excretion enhances the reabsorption so from the kidney we know very well how the urine formation reabsorption is increased so that excretion will be decreased and role of calcitriol in the on the intestine what it does in the intestine 
increases the intestinal absorption of calcium as well as a phosphate and cytosolic receptor that is not much important okay calcium uptake will be increased by the intestine the same diagram with this diagram i have already explained in my previous video parath hormone vitamin d are friendly parath hormone calcitonin both are opposite in nature that's why here same side is there parath hormone vitamin d that's why they are friendly parath hormone calcitonin opposite actions see my video okay parath hormone calcitonin video that video you see that and symptoms of vitamin d deficiency sleep changes first one low mood mood will be less back pain okay because vitamin d deficiency leads to calcium deficiency okay loss of appetite you cannot feel any appetite fatigue you and uh, pale skin dark circles on the skin infection okay in the throat or in the lungs or in the body that's why you have to take vitamin d is very very important for to fight the corona also okay d is very very important it boosts your immune system okay that's why you must take you know, to prevent the corona to boost up your immune system and frequent cough and colds deficiency that's why this is also symptom of corona infection is especially in the throat or lungs muscle strength will be decreased weak and uh, uh, aching bones pains bone pains will come okay and vitamin d we are using for the treatment of various bone disorders first one is prophylaxis use prophylaxis means prevention 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 prophylaxis use d so that we can avoid these type of diseases okay prophylaxis it is used in the treatment of of nutritional vitamin d uh, deficiency to prevent and treat the rickets r i c k not rocket this is rocket normal legs it goes wherever you want you can go these are the racket this is the rickets it is somewhat bend like this okay because of the deficiency of the vitamin d so if you see the photograph this is the vitamin d deficiency you see small vitamin d leads to biggest problems first use is prophylaxis of the rickets number 2 is metabolic rickets do not respond to see some cases tissues do not respond to normal doses of vitamin d in such a cases vitamin d resistant rickets the name see the name vitamin d resistant rickets even though you are giving a vitamin d regularly your tissue will not be respond in such a cases you have to give high doses of vitamin d and vitamin d dependent rickets there is a two types are there only you can keep you underline points important okay not much the remaining and third is senile very important bit what is a senile osteoporosis senile osteo senile uh, uh, osteoporosis is also called as a post menopausal from the age of 50 around periods will be stopped that is called a menopause okay so after menopause it becomes like this body it bends like this body because of the post menopausal osteoporosis your bones will be it becomes like this see number of pores are there this is a light condition of osteoporosis this is the severe condition of the osteoporosis very horrible situation very horrible that's why you take the vitamin d sufficiently calcium sufficiently you have to take and is uh, hypoparathyroidism okay in such a case you have to take the uh, vitamin d hypoparathyroidism franconi syndrome it is a franki not this franki franki we know very well in the theaters and shopping malls whenever we will go for movies and all we will enjoy with the sauce veg franki okay non veg is also there but uh, not this franconi is one of the name of the disease also it is a syndrome it is a rare disorder of the kidney tubule it is a related to the kidney disease for such a cases also you can use the vitamin d okay so thank you i will end my session here okay uh, keep watching my playlists
I have kept all my videos in a subject wise.